So with this one, an operation is defined by P O Q equals P square plus Q cube. State the exact value of 5 O minus 4 or negative 4. So I'm going to rewrite the operation. P O Q is equal to P squared plus Q cube. Now we're supposed to evaluate 5 O minus 4. So E equals. Now P is 5. Q is minus 4. So 5 squared plus minus 4 cube. So 5 squared is 25 plus open bracket negative 4 cubed negative 4 cubed we have negative 4 cubed is negative 4 so it's equal to negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 now negative times negative is positive times negative is negative 4 4 16 and 16 times 4 is 64 now positive times negative remember small bracket means to multiply positive times negative is negative so we have negative 64 and the positive 25 now 64 or 60 minus 20 leaves 40 and um, 40 minus 5 leaves 35 and 35 plus 4 is 39 but is the number negative or positive if you realize the negative number in this case is bigger so the answer would be negative 39 so this is the answer for the um, first question first part of the question so the second section is a solve for a when a o3 is equal to 44 now we're going to use the same system remember so we're going to solve what a O2, forget about the 44 for now, e equals to P is A and Q is 2. So wherever we say P, we're going to replace it with A. So it's A squared plus Q is, Q is 2. So we're going to have 2 cube. Now, A O2 is equal to A squared plus 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 2 multiplied by itself 3 times, which is 8. Now, remember the question up here. They said A O2 equals to 44. So wherever I see A O2, I can replace it with 44. So A O2 is 44 equals to A squared plus 8. Remember we're supposed to solve for A. So I'm going to um, collect like terms. This one is similar to the one that we did before. It's just that they didn't have um, a square on the variable or the value that we're supposed to um, variable that we're supposed to solve for. So I'm going to collect like terms. I'm going to bring this over the equal sign. It's positive on this side. When it goes over it turn negative. So we're going to have 44 minus 8 equal to A squared. Now 44 minus 8 is about 36 equal to a squared now a squared is equal to 36 remember it's supposed to solve for a so a is squared we need to get rid of the square from a the opposite of square is square root so i'm going to form a square root on both sides so a the square root of a squared is a and the square root of 36 is 6 now, if we wanted, we could put um, plus or minus 6 if we're not referring to length or anything like that. So, A would be plus or minus 6. <coughs> so, if we want, we could prove that this is the actual um, A value. But before we prove that, let's look at something right here. The square root of A squared. Remember, square root, whenever we find the square root of a number, we always... We always think, um, what number do I multiply by itself to get a squared? a times a is a squared. So the square root of a squared is a. Square root of 36 is 6. Now let's see if, let's test these values into the, um, 
um, the system to see if it, it works so so to test it we're just going to substitute it back into the um, original function that we had or the original binary version that we have so p squared remember p it would be a in this case in which we have, we have two values for a so let's substitute them so if we put positive 6 squared plus 2 cubed where 6 squared is what 36 plus 8 which is equal to 44 let's try another one the, the other um, value the negative 6 so negative 6 squared plus 2 cubed now remember when we square a negative number we'll get a positive number so it's negative 6 multiplied by negative 6 negative 6 squared is negative 6 multiplied by negative 6 which is positive 36 negative 10 negative is positive 6 6 36 so 36 plus 8 which will give us 44 so if we realize we have two value for a we have negative 6 and we have positive 6